Hi traders, many traders lose money on a regular basis just due to bad sizing and bad bankroll management. Here are the two most frequent mistakes I see. Your risk should be a percentage of your bankroll and not a fixed amount of pips. For example, I often hear traders saying that they use a 20 pip stop loss when they trade pin bar. This is a huge mistake as the value of a pip is different from every instrument you trade. So a 20 pip stop loss on AUD card is different from a 20 pip stop loss on GBP USD. A 20 pip stop loss could be equal to 2% of your bankroll on an instrument and 10% of your bankroll on another one. You do not need a huge win rate to make money. Without knowing how much money was made on a winning trade versus a losing trade, the winning rate is completely useless. Many traders put way too much emphasis on a win rate. You can lose money with a 70% win rate if your losers are so big that they wipe out your winners. I'm sure you've all seen advertisement of trading systems that have 95% winning trades. They win few people on each winning trade and go bust with one losing trade. This is not the way you want to go. On the other hand, you could make a lot of money with a 30% win rate if you use good reward to risk management. Have a look at this reward to risk ratio versus win rate chart. If you aim for a 1.5 RRR, you only need a 40% win rate to be profitable. And if you aim for a 3 RRR, you only need 25% win rate to be profitable. I keep mentioning reward risk ratio or its abbreviation RRR, but what is reward and what is risk? Risk is the amount of investment you are willing to risk in a trade. Reward is a potential profit you could gain if your trade reaches the set profit target. How would you calculate RRR? This is a very simple calculation. We simply need to divide the reward by the risk to work out which ratio we are using in a trade. So if your reward is twice your risk, your RRR is 2. Pretty simple, isn't it? Before entering any trade, you should always know how much you are going to risk and what your possible reward is going to be. If you do not understand this principle, you will never become a profitable trader. So with no further ado, let me show you how to use our reward to risk calculator with a live example. We are going on the GBP and the D one hour chart. So let's say you are thinking of going long with an entry at 191.183 and a stop loss at 193.46. And you have two tech profit targets in mind, one at 191.488 and the other one at 192.577. Let's enter those figures into our calculator and see how it works. The first box, our size. It's self-explanatory. You need to put your bankroll amount in counter currency, which here is NZD. So if your account is 10,000 pounds, your account size in NZD is 19,118.3. Second box, how much do you want to risk per trade? Let's put 2% as we do not want to lose more than 200 pounds per trade. The third box, it's your entry. That was one point. 91.183. Fourth box was your stop loss, that was 193.46. Fifth box, that was the first target you had in mind, it was 191.488. The sixth box was your second target you had in mind, and that was 192.577. Okay, now that you have input all the information, let's click on the calculate button to see the results. And here they are. Quantity, that the number of units to buy, it's almost 45,683 units. Position value, 382 NZD, which is equal to 200 pounds. That was the 2% of your 10,000 pound bankroll. Now, where it does get interesting, your first target RRR is 0 0.36. This is very bad, you do not want that. Your second target RRR is 1.66. This is better, but not good enough for me to enter this trade. What about the last two boxes? 
the calculators tell you that if you want to stick with the chosen risk, a tech profit at 193.28 would give you a 2.5 RRR and a tech profit at 194.12 would give you a 3.5 RRR. You now have all the information needed to make your decision. I really hope that you will enjoy using this calculator and find it as helpful as I do. Use it every time to see if your RRR is good enough to enter a trade. If your RRR is lower than 2 to 1, you might want to skip the trade or amend your entry point in order to get a much better RRR. For example, you may choose to enter on a 50% retracement instead of a market entry. If you have not done it yet, go to PriceActionTracker.com and download PriceActionTracker free now. Okay, that's it for me. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do not forget to click the like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this.